Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, March 28, 2014. This week, making images more vibrant with the sponge tool in Photoshop and Elements. The sponge tool is one of those Photoshop and Elements tools that is often overlooked. You can use this tool to selectively punch up the color in your digital images. Here's how. Open the image in Photoshop or Elements. Since you're going to be working on the photo itself, Make a copy of your image first. In the full version of Photoshop, you'll choose Image Duplicate. You can give your file a name here and then click OK. In Elements, you'll choose File Duplicate. Give your new image a new name and click OK. This is a good practice so you don't accidentally overwrite your original image in case you decide you want to go back and change it later. Get the Sponge Tool. In Photoshop, it hides beneath the Dodge Tool, so click and hold on the Dodge Tool to find the Sponge Tool underneath. Locate the Tool Options bar. This will either be at the top or the bottom of your editing window, depending on your software. Begin by choosing a brush that's about the right size for the parts of the image that you want to recolor. Move the hardness all the way down to the left because you want it to be a soft brush. Next, for the mode, choose Saturate. Change the flow to about 20% or so. And in the full version of a Photoshop, you'll tick the Vibrance box. In Elements, you'll choose the mode, choose a soft round brush, and then move the flow slider down to about 20% or so. The size will depend on the size that you need to change the colors in your image. That's about right. Click and hold while you scrub over the parts of the image that you want to make more vibrant. The more you click and scrub, the more vibrant the colors become. Here's our before image and after using the sponge tool. As a variation on this, you can use the sponge tool and set the mode to desaturate if you want to reduce the vibrance of parts of your image. Doing this will help the color parts stand out a little more. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.